Hi, uh, my name is Rick Oberreiter, and uh, maybe some of you came across the video I did about, geez, four years ago um, when I was uh, giving a tour of my 1982 13-foot scamp. Um, at the time, I just bought it, and I was just kind of getting to know it, and uh, since that time, obviously, a lot of time has passed, and uh, it's, uh, I'm taking on um, kind of a new life, I guess. You know, it looks a little bit different than uh, it did before. So I thought maybe this would be a good time to kind of do another walkthrough and show some of the things that have changed. Um, there's a period of time where I was off the road and uh, maybe foolishly enough, I had it in storage in the Pacific Northwest in the first few months, it was outdoors. So I'm sure you could probably guess where the story is going. So I had some mold problems. So I had to get rid of some upholstery. It actually got rid of my fridge and did a few other things to it and then I guess since that time too I had to get the axle replaced so I'm about six inches higher which is actually kind of cool and something came out of uh, out of that after that was a pretty big expense but anyway it'd be an honor to show you the scamp again and maybe some of the things that have changed and some of the things that are that are the same and again as before we'll start outside so here's the outside of the scamp um, definitely <laughs> well we can show you here I did get a new vehicle so I had an old Liberty before that. And I actually too have an outdoor shower, which is right here, which is pretty cool. When it's nice outside, I utilize that a lot. I um, mean, yeah, aesthetically, it doesn't look too great right now. There's stuff kind of all over the place, but I got 200 watts of solar up there that you can't see. Another one down here that I've been using for the winter time because I just need to be able to move it around. You can see I move my propane over here. You'll see why when I get inside, it's got two valves. Um, since there's no gray tank, that's what the gray tank looks like. Ratty solar panels, these things uh, blew away on me a couple of days ago and uh, split apart. So they're probably need to be, so I'm trying to hunker them and not have them go anywhere since I'm in the Arizona desert. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the outside. Uh, let's go inside and now we'll walk inside so here's the power bank that hasn't changed it's been good to me now for a long time it's a goal zero um, i've added this shelf up here um i needed to replace the two burner so i just decided just to do this instead so much easier i mean it's just on i can move this around when i travel it's just it works great i mean it doesn't look the best but whatever um here's the new fridge as well um one fridge um still need to frame this part out over here and then i just have most of the time i stole this away but this is the little buddy i've got that connected to the main propane which is outside saves so much i don't have to buy those green ones anymore so usually this is just goes outside and i'm not using it this is the second fridge um, the big thing that I did, I had a friend help me, was to up raise the bed and then put storage underneath. So clothes, you can fit all kinds of stuff back here. He did a really good job. So I'll show you a photo of it down as well. So much stuff. Um, I got water. So this is drinking water. It's like this thing. I just got this. It's kind of cool. Um, I had an extra, I had to get, my batteries are underneath here. I had to get some new batteries, but this one was still good, so I just kept using it. And then I bought a little inverter for it. It actually is coming really handy in this little thing right there. So I've got three systems set up for uh, this little thing. And let's see. And the same is, the rest of it's pretty much the same. Storage. Storage up here on top of this thing. The bench seat where I work, composting toilet is underneath here. You can see that. So same as before, um, hasn't changed anything there. So that's pretty much it, you know, messy storage. Weird little storage places, but you can fit quite a bit of stuff. So there you go. If you want to learn more, check out the links below. I have links to my YouTube channel, travel blog, graphic design websites, 
and my online t-shirt shop. Thanks and uh, happy RVing.